And the BAFTA goes to The Power of the Dog. In the bubble of the award season, two films are battling it out for Oscar glory. Leading the charge with the most nominations, The Power of the Dog, a film about an ornery cowboy with a hidden side. I wonder what little lady made these. I did, sir. The Canadian producer of The Power of the Dog didn't expect to ride it to the Oscars. When I read the book, I will not have dreamed that we will be here today with the whole crew, with Jane, with the actors. Yeah, I think you should With director that, Jane Campion receiving her second Oscar nomination, Power of the Dog made history, and there could be more. After winning the top awards at the DGA, BAFTA, and uh, Critics' Choice Awards, they're in a good position. But there's a late contender. What are you doing next year? Coda, a film about a music student raised by deaf parents, has what many Oscar voters are looking for. You get to reward a film that has a primarily deaf cast, that has a good heartfelt story. It's not over the top in terms of like filmmaking style or the way it's made. The two films couldn't be more different, except where you'll find them. Streaming services like Netflix and Apple TV+. Plus perfect for a year when many film fans stayed home. When the movie was released on theater November the 27th and on December 1st on Netflix, we were the number one in 65 countries. And while the traditional studios double down on superheroes and sequels, it's the streamers that are bankrolling the kind of films Hollywood used to make. So we had to fight all the time to have access to theaters and screen. And now I think that with dual possibility, it's better for everyone. We're making a movie to be seen. A power shift in the race for Oscar gold. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.